Welcome back to part four of the WinLink series. Today we're going to use RDOP, which is open source, and from what I've read is also usable in Linux, whereas Vera is not. Now, there is a performance issue with RDOP. It's a little bit slower, but if you're looking for something that's open source, RDOP is it. This is the first time that I've used RDOP on this computer. So I have some settings that we need to look at. The first thing that we need to do is in the RDOP setup, we want to show the RDOP TNC screen when it is launched. So go ahead and click that checkbox, click update. Now that TNC should appear and we have some settings in the TNC that we need to handle. I'm experimenting here. Pretty sure these settings that I'm about to make are correct. The first thing that I'm going to do is do serial and I'm going to select COM4 to the radio and COM4 on my ICOM 7300 is set to 19.200 baud. And then I need to select the sound cards that I'm going to use for this TNC. The first sound card is for my VHF and the second sound card is for my HF station. And you need to be sure that you select the right one. Sometimes when I restart my computer, they flip flop. And then you're gonna save this to your any file. Check out the settings that we've got there. Boom, we saved it. Now you can see that it's receiving from the rig and I don't have it set on any particular frequency at this time, so there's nothing coming through. Now we're gonna set up the radio control. And again, ICOM 7300. And I'm gonna use upper sideband digital. And then for rig control, I'm gonna use the other ICOM port that I have, and that is COM3. And that is 115200 for that one. That's just the way that my rig is set up. And then you click update for your rig. Now it's going to restart. And at this point, we should be about ready to send us some email. So I typed up an email before this point and dropped it into the outbox, sending it to Kilo Oscar 4, November Lova Lova. So now it's time to send that message. When you have your TNC open, you want to select a station that you have a good path to. Saving these into your favorites when you find some that work is very helpful. You can see that I had quite a few failed attempts. We're going to go ahead and hit start. And at this point, it's going to key your radio and try to make a connection with that station. As noted before, RDOP is much slower than Vera HF, but some people choose RDOP because it's open source and word on the street is it also works in Linux. If that is something that you're looking for, then this is definitely the mode to choose for you. In good conditions, as far as signal to noise ratio goes, RDOP will perform fairly well there are some instances where RDOP is going to be terrible. And if you will go to the winlink.org website, there is a download if you look up RDOP. It gives a full testing and comparison of all the WinLink digital modes. Unfortunately, or fortunately, Vera HF is really, really fast, but it will degrade over the signal to noise. Now, if you want some signal to noise that will have better performance, then Pactor 4 might be the one for you. I haven't done Pactor 4 yet, so I'll try that out in the next video. There's some other ones. There's Pactor 3 and there's Winmore, and I have never used Winmore. Winmore is the slowest of them all. So a few minutes later, I'm going to test another email i'm going to download an email that i sent myself and we're going to fast forward and watch all one minute of this but at the end of this fast forwarding 
you'll see that I receive a message that I sent from a regular email address to w1rcp at winlink.org. And as it goes through the cycle, it will download that email that I sent to myself. That email originates from the winlink.org servers. So in the event of a worldwide catastrophe, I'm not quite sure if that's gonna work anymore. And this may be a store and forward situation. And there are some servers that are radio only. I found one. I didn't use it in this instance, but I was able to connect to it because it's not that far away. It was on 40 meters. And what they do is they store and forward that message. So you can see that I did in fact receive a message from myself to myself. This video has been quite short comparatively to the other ones and it wasn't that hard to set up. The most difficult settings are getting it to communicate with your rig. So you have to know your rig inside and out to be able to get the settings to work. But hopefully over the course of these videos, if you've been following, you have been able to figure out the settings for your rigs. I'm Robbie W1RCP and if you would, Please like the video and subscribe to W1RCP. If you're mind to it, please consider subscribing to my channel. And you can also consider becoming a member of the channel. And there are three levels and the link is down in the description along with my gear. And you get some perks with these levels and so check them out. If you join my channel with the loyal fan, you don't get much, but you get a little bit. You get some custom emojis that you can use. And thank you for your support. And the fan that wants more, you'll get some shout outs and you'll get uh, photos and updates. And then the fan of growth might keep me from putting ads on this channel. 73. Did you know that this song actually spells P-O-T-A, Pota, on the piano? If you didn't know, no, not the, 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 but there's an Easter egg.